I'm very new to fountain pens and want to try more inks. What is a good low maintenance Noodler's ink for a noob? Um, yeah, so Noodler's, I mean, it's a great, it's a great brand um, for complete newbies. It can be a little dicey because the properties of some of these inks can be so wild. Um, Noodler's more than any other brand makes ink colors and properties that vary more than any other brand. I think I can pretty safely say that. Um, Nathan Tardif, the guy who creates Noodler's Ink, is very much, uh, he pushes the envelope, you know, he makes inks just because he wants to try to make them. Even from the very beginning, in 2003, I think, when he had Noodler's Black, he ran a contest to see if anyone could remove Noodler's Black off the paper. And, and not leave a trace of it and leave the paper intact. And somebody from MIT, a grad student, had removed the ink with a laser that they had on campus. And so Nathan went and developed a laser-proof ink. Like, no one is ever going to need that. But he wanted to do it. So that's where the, the Noodler's Warden series, Bad Blue Heron, Bad Black Moccasin, Bad Green Gator, and Bad... What am I forgetting? I forget which ones I said already, but there's another one. There's four of them. <laughs> bad Blue Heron, Bad Black Moccasin, Bad Green Gator, Bad Belted Kingfisher. That's the one I forgot. So those inks were developed to be laser proof. You know, it's just like crazy stuff like that. And that's why Noodlers is so awesome because it just there's so much to talk about there. Um, and so um, some of those you you may want to just like you know if you don't know what you're getting into you may want to stay away from those so there are there is kind of like a standard line of Noodler's inks um, and like Noodler's uh, red violet beaver blue Apache sunset forest green army green green cactus even Noodler's black is fairly conventional um, it's, it's permanent but it's 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 pretty it's it's the most popular ink that we sell. I can say that. Um, we just pulled our sales numbers for 2014, and it is the most popular ink that we carry. It's Noodler's Black, three ounce Noodler's Black. Um, but uh, yeah, so there's like kind of a standard line. Um, if you look on gouletpens.com under comparison tools, that little bar header, look at the drop down there at the bottom. It's going to be um, Noodler's Ink Properties. So we have a spreadsheet that Rachel, my wife, really kind of headed up. I helped, but she really kind of put that thing together and worked with Nathan Tardif to approve everything and look it over, but it's got a, a rundown of all the Noodler's ink properties and because there's like freeze resistance and UV glowing and just stuff like that, just like, you know, permanence and stuff like that that factors in, lubricated, quick dry, whatever. So if you look at that sheet, look at everything that has no under all those properties. Those are kind of the conventional, just ones that are gonna be easiest to clean, easiest to maintain. Um, so you can look at that spreadsheet and see the ones that don't have any permanent qualities or anything like that. The ones that have no by everything is going to be kind of the this most straight up conventional ink uh, that you can get from the Noodler's line.